We're doing this leaky toilet where the flush cone has been popped out. Reason being, no screws in the pan. So there's nothing holding it down. And just over time it wiggled free. So we need to screw the pan down and we need to swap over that flush cone. I don't want to do all of that work and then the pan connector leak. So for what it costs, just grab the new pan connector. Now, apart from the McAlpine pan connector, uh, I've started using Viva for all of the loose toilet bits. So, flush cone from Viva. I like the hard plastic ones. I know some people aren't a fan, they like the soft rubber ones. Uh, and also with the pan fixings. So, we wiggled that toilet back into place so we know exactly where it needs to be. I want to cut all that old silicon off and get that all cleaned up. Right, so now we know exactly where it is. Don't screw through the pan. It's easier just to get yourself a marksman. I think that's what they're called. Marksman? The green things? Yeah, marksman. And now I'm only drilling through the tile. I'm not going any further because this is actually upstairs. So the screws are going to bite into the wood underneath. So obviously it's just to create a hole so that the screw can get past the tile. Give it a good old scrub up. These are ultra grind wipes. They're fantastic. There'll be a link below. Right, so we're going to push everything back, get it all into place. And then, like I said, going to use the Viva fixing kits. They're good because they're stainless steel screws, and so they won't corrode. And I do use an impact driver, but only to get it down, and then I nip it up with a screwdriver. Put the caps on, tighten up the siphon nut, put the cover plate back over. Then we're going to re-silicone up. So, a smaller nozzle as you can find. Squirt it in, basically point it directly at it. Spray whatever you can find, any sort of cleaner, anything, doesn't matter. Bit of soapy water, absolutely fine. And then with a silicon remover tool, just go around and make sure it's all pushed in and it's all nice and flat. Again, using the ultra grind wipes, just wipe it all clean. So that they're ready for the next job. And there we go, job done.